How should the firm produce? The answer is simple, using the lowest cost method. As firms combine the components of labor and physical capital, like machines and software, new techniques and ways to combine these resources are derived. The best process in the long run is the lowest cost method. Economies of scale are present when cost per unit drop as output increases. Here is a graph that shows this occurring in a market. A small factory like S produces 1,000 alarm clocks at an average cost of $12 per clock. A medium factory like M produces 2,000 alarm clocks at a cost of $8 per clock. And a large factory like L produces 5,000 alarm clocks at a cost of $4 per clock. Economies of scale exist because the larger scale of production leads to lower average costs. If economies of scale are present, then the answer to, to the question, how much should the firm produce, is answered by looking at the behavior of average costs. In the long run, all costs are variable. But in the short run, fixed costs are present. The five different short-run average cost curves each represents a different level of fixed cost from the low level of fixed cost at short-run average cost curve number one, SRAC1, to the high level of fixed cost at SRAC5. The long-run average cost, LRAC, curve shows the lowest cost of producing each quantity of output when fixed cost can vary. So it is formed by the bottom edge of the family of SRAC curves. If a firm wishes, wishes to produce quantity Q3, it would choose the fixed cost associated with SRAC3. In the long run, the level of production may be influenced by the market and the cost structure of its competitors. Low cost firms will produce at output level R when the long run average cost curve has a clear minimum point. Then any firm producing a different quantity will have higher costs. In this case, a firm producing at a quantity of 10,000 will produce at a lower average cost than a firm producing, say, at 5,000 or 20,000 units. Low cost firms will produce between output levels R and S when the LRAC curve has a flat bottom, like on the graph on the right. Then firms producing at any quantity along this flat bottom can compete. In this case, any firm producing a quantity between 5,000 and 20,000 can compete effectively. Although firms producing less than 5,000 or more than 20,000 would face higher average cost and be unable to compete.